Well, everybody, I went in and had a little dinner. I'm feeling pretty good now. Uh, everything is set up for tomorrow to take care of the oil on the uh, mower. Um, I got a new tool today. I, I need to do a little work to my cooler boxes, final assembly, but I've been working pretty hard on them and I'm kind of a little bit burned out, so I thought I would take a break tonight. I got a new tool. This is a quarter inch reamer. And what I'm gonna do is I bought this specifically for reaming out the inside di diameter of the aluminum arrows, the 1820 arrows that, uh, that I'm trying to turn into ink pens. You might remember I did a video on one and the problem I had was as I was using the drill, I was holding the drill in one hand and I was holding the arrow in the other and you kind of wobble a little bit. You can never hold it perfectly steady. So I got these little wavy areas in the arrow and it kind of detracted from the way it looked. And someone, I don't remember who suggested a reamer. So I bought one and they sent me a 930 seconds the first time and I called back and said, hey, you know, wrong, wrong reamer. <laughs> So they corrected it and sent me another one. Man, it took like three weeks, almost, almost four, to get this thing. It's been crazy since I ordered it the day after I did the video. So if you look back on that date, you'll know how long it's been. And uh, since then, I've done two other videos. I had the wine hanger video and the cutting board video. So it has been a while. But tonight, I'm just going to play around. I've got an arrow cut. I've got it drilled. It's ready to go. It just needs to be reamed out for the transmission. And... Uh, I'm just going to goof around tonight and see how it works out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'll look for something else. If it works, though, I've come up with a couple of ideas, and I think what I'm going to do is shoot another video on how to make that arrow possibly. Uh, this is not 100% guarantee because I think I can uh, reduce the number of tools needed and simplify the process and make it more accessible to more people. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted. But for now, I'm going to go have a little fun. Well, I'm happy to say that the reamer was a complete success. Um, it takes a while to, to ream the arrow out because you've got to be very careful, but look at that. And if, as I spin it, let me flip it over and spin it for you. You'll notice it's not crooked. There are no wavy lines down the middle and the pin works great. It's hard to do with one hand. There we go. So you see the ink starting to come out. I can't hardly do it with one hand, but it, it's perfect. Um, the arrow he gave me had bad fletchings on it, but he said if it worked out, he'd swap new fletchings on his arrow because I'm making this for one of the guys up at the uh, range and he'd put new, new fletching on there. So he had a cool looking arrow, but this is awesome. It's slow because, you know, as you start to turn the reamer, it'll kind of clog up with uh, the aluminum and you got to back it out, clean it and then put it back in. But, and there's still an issue with holding it. I'm using the neoprene and some clamps. Uh, if I could find a better way to hold it without damaging it, which you could tell I did not damage it. If you look at the arrow, it's perfect all the way around. That one little dot on the end there, that's how they come from the factory. I don't know why that is, but uh, I'm happy. This is awesome. Well, good news is I got the arrow pin to work. Bad news is when I put the ink cartridge in to show it to you guys, the reason why I was having trouble turning it is evidently a little dot of glue had run down the inside of the arrow and I glued the ink cartridge to the arrow. Can you tell I've been trying to get it out? <laughs> oh, it was beautiful, it was perfect. So I've got the uh, tip of the arrow soaking in some acetone. Uh, I didn't send it all the way down in the acetone because I didn't want the transmission where I put the dot of glue on the transmission to uh, loosen up. But I'm hoping that if I leave it in acetone overnight tomorrow, I can take one of my punches and maybe, maybe it'll break the glue down and I can push it out because it worked perfect. It was absolutely perfect. It was straight, it was beautiful. And I was actually in the process of, I cut two more and I was gonna pull the back off of the pin uh, in order to uh, measure the back half of the arrow to know how long to cut that, which, you know, that came right off. Um, and that's when I noticed that the ink wasn't moving. <laughs> so there went the fun. It was fun until that happened. But uh, hopefully it'll loosen up and tomorrow night I can uh, remove it and next chance I get, I'll, I'll make the other two. I'm pretty excited that I finally figured it out. I just, I just got to get this method of holding this tiny, tiny um, arrow, you know, this, this tiny shaft of an arrow tightly so that, you know, it doesn't slip. And I'll figure something out. Step by step, I'll figure it out. And I'm going to do another video and teach people how to do this because I think there's, there was a lot of interest. And I think it's really cool. And truthfully, it's real simple. You can buy these transmissions and ink refills real cheap at wood turnings. And uh, I think people can have fun with this. So with that, I'm calling it a night. I'm going to go in try to clean some of this up. See, I got some on the other hand too. It's all over the place. 
<laughs> None on my shirt. I kept the cardinal clean. You guys have a great evening. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.